Dear all, welcome to this tutorial dedicated to Premiere Elements 2021, a very easy video editing software you can use to realize your own videos and slideshows in no time. This is part of the Adobe Elements Bundle under a perpetual license. Make sure to visit our YouTube channel and take a look at our website for more news and extras completely for free. Premiere Elements opens with its home screen page, showing tips and tutorials on top, and a search bar you can use to find any topic. At the bottom, you can start from any existing project or open any software inside the bundle, such as Adobe Organizer to manage and organize your media, Photoshop Elements as Photo Editor to adjust your photos, and Premiere Elements as Video Editor. To learn more about Photoshop Elements, check out our dedicated video. Premiere Elements is divided in three different workspaces you can open from the top. With Quick, you create your own videos by using the storyboards, such as pieces of visual media put sequentially in time. Under Guided, you get the complete list of guided corrections and effects you can apply. Whereas on Expert, you realize your video with a professional timeline organized in video and audio tracks. In this workspace, you can also put multiple visual files overlapping in time. In this tutorial, we will see how to realize videos with the Quick Workspace. You can learn more about the Expert Workspace by checking our dedicated tutorial. When you open Premiere Elements under Quick, you get two different options. You can either trim a single file or combine multiple media to make your own video. In this case, browse for any file and open it on the main workspace as the first storyboard inside the timeline. You can also import other images, videos, and audio files by dragging these from any folder. All visual content is put sequentially in time, complete with thumbnails and duration in seconds, whereas audio files are placed at the bottom separately. The preview above shows the timeline content where the red marker is placed. You can click and drag it to check different frames or directly use the player to play back in real time with audio. At the bottom, you find some useful buttons to open Adobe Organizer or come back to the home screen page. Whereas, use the Undo and the Redo buttons to undo or redo your actions made as you work on your project. At this point, you are ready to edit and realize your own video with the timeline and the tools on the right. Consider that you can also go to the Create button to use Ready Templates and finish your video in no time. Click on any media to select it and drag it to change its position in time. You can right-click on it to cut, copy, and paste it and use the buttons on the left to rotate by 90 degrees or delete it. To adjust the duration of any clip, click on its seconds. On images, you get a simple slider. On videos, you can use either Smart Trim or Time Stretch. With Smart Trim, you adjust the video duration by cutting part of its content selecting what to save with the blue regions. Then use Continue Editing to come back to the main timeline. Whereas with Time Stretch, you adjust duration by changing the speed rate without removing any content. Set speed below 100% to stretch the video and make it longer in time and above 100% to fasten it and make it shorter. You can also reverse the video and keep its original audio pitch. Moreover, if you select any media and click on the preview, 
you get several nodes you can use to scale and rotate it. You can also drag it to move. On the right, you can open the panels under Fix, Edit, and Add to apply corrections, effects, and extra objects. The first button opens the Adjustments panel, divided in several sections to apply visual corrections on pictures and videos. With Smart Fix, Shake Reduction, and Auto Smart Tone, you can make adjustments on brightness, details, and tones automatically. Whereas, you can open the other sections for custom adjustments. Under Color, change the photo colors with Hue, its luminance with Lightness, and its color intensity with Saturation. Under Lighting, set the brightness, contrast, and exposure levels, and open temperature and tint to apply several color filters. On these, you can either pick any ready template or click on More to get sliders for precise corrections. You can also disable or enable any section by using its I button. By default, all these corrections are applied only on the current file that is selected from the timeline. To apply adjustments on the whole project, enable the entire Movie button on top. The second button opens the Tools panel, collecting special adjustments you can apply to your media. We won't see these in this beginner tutorial. The third button opens the Applied Effects panel, which lists all the effects added to the current media. All videos and images always include the motion and the opacity effects. The first one is used to adjust placement, size, and inclination. The second one to adjust transparency and add simple fade in and fade out transitions to start or end the same clip. To add other visual effects, you can open the Effects panel on the fourth button. Select the category from the top and drag and drop the interested effect on the media clip. This will be added on the Applied Effects list, where you can adjust its properties while checking the preview. On top, you can use the I button to disable or enable each effect, the Reset button to revert its properties, and the Bend button to remove the effect permanently. New in Premiere Elements 2021 is the possibility to apply effects only on limited regions under Draw. Use Pen to define a custom region, clicking once to fix straight sides, or clicking and dragging to define curves. Make sure to close the shape to apply. Choose Circle or Rectangle to drop these shapes instead. All these regions can be moved and adjusted directly from the preview. Each region is listed as a selection where you can set Feather, Effect Opacity, and Expansion. On top, you can use Track to apply motion tracking completely automatic in order to move the region by following the video itself. Next to it, you can also invert the region or delete it. You can open the sixth button to get all the visual transitions you can apply between media files. Adjust their duration and placement by clicking on these and change the transition type by dragging another. From Add, you can import audio samples and several text templates by dragging and dropping these on the timeline. You can select Motion Titles to add animated text with background and graphics, or Classic Titles for simple pieces of text without motion. You can drop text on the timeline to add it as an independent storyboard with empty background rendered in black color. 
To add text over any media, just select it and click on the T button above, setting duration and starting point. You can edit all text properties by selecting it and opening the Adjustments panel. Set text font, style, size, color, distribution, and also add great transitions and motion with animation. Under Shapes, you can drop geometrical shapes and additional pieces of text by dragging and dropping on the preview. Hold down the Control or Command key to move, scale, and rotate these objects if needed. To type in, double-click on the text box. Besides the Quick Workspace, you can also open the Guided Workspace to apply up to 25 outstanding step-by-step -step effects, including double exposure and animated matte overlay. Check these out. To save your video project in progress, go to File and then to Save As. This makes a Prel file that you can open and edit in the future. To export your video, go to Export and Share. Select the video template to use, including optimized ones for devices, discs, YouTube, or Vimeo. Choose Audio to export just audio an image to save the current video frame on the preview. If you go to Devices, Custom, you can set custom video options, including loads of file formats, 4K resolution, and 60 FPS as frame rate. At the bottom, set the file name and the destination folder and go to Save. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to visit our YouTube channel to discover new and fresh guides on Adobe and other amazing software.